Hello, my name is Lisa Stockton and I run Happy Kitchen, a social enterprise based in East London in Hackney. Happy Kitchen has grown from a friendship of 20 years between myself and my best friend Ellie Pennington. At a young age we were always kind of concerned about the environment, we're always trying to eat healthy food and as we got older we wanted to try and find ways to express this, to share our passion with others about food and the environment. As I've got older I've realised that the biggest thing I can do to have less impact on the planet is to change my diet. It's essentially the largest thing we do on a daily basis and by changing it we have a massive effect, positively or negatively, on our surroundings and the way we live as, a, as an individual in this world. We sell our food to do a few things, to raise money for social projects with children in schools all around London and community centres, all about health, food, climate change, the environment. We aim to use our food as a fun way to create discussion around these issues. We also sell our food to use it as a platform for discussion about these issues. So when we sell on our market stores, we use our branding on our packaging or we communicate things through our website. We use that as a way to table issues and, dis and have discussion around issues such as climate change and how much land is being used specifically for animals or what's growing in this country and who's making it and where's it been made and how far is food travelling, where is it coming from, what is the environmental impact of it, positively or negatively. So this is one of the packets of one of our products and as it so quickly says on the back, we are working to encourage discussion on issues surrounding agriculture and global land usage. Our aim is to produce food that is of the lowest ecological impact and to raise money for social projects relating to food, health, climate change and the environment. The business was founded about 15 months ago um, in 2008. Um, it seems like it's been a lot longer in the making. Ellie and I have obviously been friends for a very long time and in some ways everything we've, we've always done has eventually led to us to this point. So I could say really the business has been in the making for 20 years but I guess um, it's been properly functioning for about 15 months now. We started off doing lots of things. I mean, we wanted to share food and raise money through selling food, but we didn't really know exactly what kind of way we wanted to do it. So initially we started catering, doing catering events all over the city for lots of social enterprises, for charities, for other socially driven organisations and some not at all, some wanting to invest a little bit of money in finding out a bit more about food and about what sustainable food means in London. So we, would, we set out to source ingredients from all over the country. We found unusual things growing in Kent and Suffolk, getting hold of foragers who can find things along canal paths, to contacting people who live local to us who might have too many apples hanging off their trees. So we realised that there was one thing that stood out from everything else that enabled us to talk about all the issues that we were really passionate about, and that was, strangely, our cakes. Most people assume that cake is unhealthy, and it should be a treat. And we've realised that we can actually start making our cakes with really unusual ingredients that are, one, sourced locally, and two, much better for health. So we use English hemp oil, English oat milk that we make ourselves in our kitchen in huge quantities every week. We use other fair trade ingredients like coconut oil, our agave syrup, which is fair trade and has a very low glycemic index. So it means it's very slowly releases its energy into the body. So it's very good for people with diabetes or children. And making our cakes free of eggs, butter, sugar and wheat flour has meant that it's opened it up to many people with lots of allergies and enabled us to actually find quite a niche in the market where no one's really selling cakes, no one's selling cakes that taste this good but also are free of so many ingredients that aren't particularly good for your health. We are currently experiencing quite quick growth. Lots of people want our products in stores all over London, mainly because what we offer is completely unique. There is no competitors currently offering cakes and different sweet treats that are free of all the ingredients that ours are free of with the ethos and business mission that we currently have. We're currently looking for £100,000, which is for three things. One, for expanding our business currently, for keeping up with the demand with all the new business that we have coming in. Two, moving our bakery and setting up as environmentally friendly as possible and as efficiently as possible. And three, for setting up and running our social centre, which is a long-term plan for us. So we're here today to try and find out how you can help us grow and what would be the most suitable form of investment. We're a community interest company and company limited by guarantee. In one sentence, we are a plant-based organisation on a mission to demonstrate that eating with the environment in mind is not only good for health but tasty too.